Hello everyone, welcome back to Drawing Stack. This is Vishnu and today I'm going to show you how to make this painting. A tree in the valley with soft pastel. I'll be using following materials for this. A Canson art board, Rembrandt soft pastel, some pastel pencils, a flat brush for underpainting, rubbing alcohol for underpainting. So let's get started. First thing we are going to do is draw some outline of various parts of the painting using a brown pastel pencil. This part is very easy. Just get the land structure and distant tree line defined as shown here. Now we are going to start with some underpainting. So let's start with the sky. Block in some thallo blue on the sky. Then dip the flat brush in the rubbing alcohol and wash the sky with it. Make the color blend uniformly. This is going to be a very simple sky just with the underpainting. Anyway, some texture will be created automatically because of the underpainting and surface of the artboard. As we are using alcohol for our underpainting, it will dry very fast. But while waiting on the sky to dry, we can work here on the foreground. Block in some colors like burnt umber, cinnabar green and branch sienna then again wash it with rubbing alcohol using the brush here for the tree line we are going to use an ultramarine deep blue and wash it using the same method. It should be a very light shade as these trees are at distance. Add some deep yellow on this part of the land. Wash it. It looks brighter than we need. So let's add a little bit of branch sienna which will be appropriate transition from the nearest foreground. Apply some light red oxide on the land near to distant tree line. We are going to use yellow ochre and burnt sienna here on this part of the land. Finally for this part let's use deep yellow and yellow ochre. Now we are going to work on the main element of this painting, the tree. First, let's apply some deep olive green and fill the area so that the shape looks like a tree. You can see when alcohol is used for blending the color, the tree started taking its shape. Just watch the kind of strokes I am using for the tree. This will help to get tree foliage defined easily. Here at the bottom there will be some grass and the shadow of the tree considering the light is coming from right side. After it is dry, we are going to add some black to define darker areas of the tree. Then again wash it with alcohol. Leave it to dry to finish the part of underpainting. Now we are going to start with the second stage on top of underpainting. Let's use a black pastel pencil to create trunk structure of the tree. This is easy, just cover the area of the tree and make it believable. As I mentioned that light is coming from right, so let's use a darker shade of green like deep cinnabar green for creating leaves at left side of the tree. Here we are going to create some more tree trunk using a light oxide pastel pencil. Well this isn't visible correctly so let's use some light yellow also to illuminate this tree trunk. Then we are going to work on tree leaves on right side using permanent yellow green. This is to indicate that light is falling on these leaves. Also do not cover the entire tree with this color. 
Just cover right half of it to create a nice texture of light and shadow. This also will help to define the three dimensional structure of the tree. Also work a little bit on the grass at the foot of the tree. Now let's give some finishing touch on the edges of the tree. As we know that edges of a tree will not be uniform. So let's make some rough edges using a deep olive green. Also create some sky holes using the same color used for the sky. For making some of the holes we have to use the color behind the tree like we can use a yellow ochre for some of the holes here. Now we will start working on the foreground and grass in the foreground. Apply some permanent yellow green here. Make sure that various parts of the land structures are still separated by complementary colors. We will use some cinnabar green here again. Then permanent deep green for making some more texture. Let's apply some light yellow using particle strokes for long grass. Then some permanent yellow green. some light red oxide some permanent deep green some olive green to make nearest foreground darker apply some texture to area on land with a cinnabar green Let's create some small bushes here and there with deep olive green. In the foreground on long grass, I thought some lemon yellow will add some nice texture. Also, we can make some grass flower here using lemon yellow and branch sienna. Here on the distant tree lines on top of light shade, we will apply some cinnabar green, blue violet and ultramarine deep blue. Apply these colors very lightly. So finally we are pretty much done here with this painting, a tree in the valley. You are welcome to recreate this painting and if you do, you are also welcome to share your painting with me. Check out the description of this video for my email, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and my website to connect with me. Hit the like button and share it with your friends if you like this painting. Subscribe and stay in touch for more drawing and painting techniques. Thank you for watching Drawing Stack. Take care, bye bye, see you soon with another drawing.